Welcome back to Prey. Let's go into zero gravity and try to find Calvino's body and his keycard. Tell us one is. Talos 1 has multiple airlocks, which lead to the exterior of the space station. Before you can use them, you have to disengage your manual seals from the inside. The more airlocks you find, the more freedom you'll have to navigate through and around the station as you wish. Okay. Well, that's awkward. The sound already played, so now it's silent. Microgravity detected. The Transtar suit is equipped with a propulsion system to navigate the harsh environment of space. WSD, thrust, shift to boost thrust, Q plus E to break. Hmm. Crash to send, space to ascend. Okay. Oh, you can even do rolls, apparently. Alright, this might take some. Oh, this might take some getting used to. So yeah, WASD works like normal, except it's propulsion, so you have momentum. Whoa! <laughs> so, both of those keys to break. There we go. And it breaks whether you're going forwards or backwards. C to go down, W to go up. I wonder if I'm gonna get attacked out here. Can those things live with no air? This is so cool. This is so cool. I can just float off into space. I don't have to do anything. Oh, that's neat too. Every time you turn, you hear that sound? I think that's probably like mini propulsion things allowing you to turn, I'm guessing. Human corpse, human corpse. So is that just for like loot? Just not required? Let's go check them out. Let's go super fast. And I'm guessing if you hit something at this speed, you're probably gonna get hurt. Whoa. Thank you. Where was the other one? Where's another one, wasn't there? Wow, I'm get I'm, uh, I'm so lost already. I feel so disoriented. Holy crap! I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have looked in different areas. Um, okay. I think I came from over there. I think. Whee! Hey, everything's upside down. This is seriously disorienting. Ugh. So yeah, there's... over there is where I should go. It's a quest. But I am really intrigued about going to other places. See, so that one's locked, so I can't... I swear I just heard something. Um, that one's locked, so obviously I have to unlock it from the inside to be able to do anything over there. There's a human corpse over there, but I think it's on, like, the other side of the ship. Um... Yeah, those seem really far away. I don't think I'll bother with them. Alright. Towards the workshop.
repair too. You know, I haven't once used my repair one skill. Is that backwards? Oh, I thought it was upside down, but yeah, it's backwards, isn't it? Guard. Oh, Lorenzo hasn't been sucked dry. Narrow mods. You found him. Not surprising. Well done. Thank you. Mio, this is Dr. Calvino. What's up? I'm feeling ill. I, not myself today. I think I won't be in for my shift at all. Okay. Do you still want me to finish this array? I fabricated a shit ton of glass. Array? I don't recall. You asked me to set up a new array. You must have misunderstood. Uh, are you... <sighs> Honestly, I prefer if you left my experiments alone in my absence. Uh, well, look, I have a message you left me. Seriously, I would not have made all of this if you hadn't... No, no, of course. I, uh, I remember now. Uh, let's just, uh, for the time being... Yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter? Uh, let's talk about it tomorrow. Some very odd behavior. They have two transcribes. Mio, uh, this is, um, this is Dr. Calvino. Ah, well, I suppose you've turned in, uh, or you're ignoring me. Uh, I just want to... Well, I, I will be a little late for my shift tomorrow, but um, uh, the, the first thing in the morning, I want you to put together a new micro lens array. You see, the, the old one is its garbage. And uh, get what you need from the machine shop. And if Clive is being an ass, just take it from the supply closet when he's not looking. Uh, we're not supposed to know the code, but, uh, well, uh, I'm sending it to you anyway. No. Uh, get me back into normal gravity. I was so cool, but oh. If anyone has motion sickness, I'm sorry. Thankfully, I don't. Well, actually, I do, but I don't get motion sickness from games. I do from car rides and stuff, though. Ah. <sighs> Okay, so now we can enter the workshop, yes. Where precisely was that? Over there? Ah, right. Okay, it's pretty near. Coming through. That's the nice one. Oh, don't just go straight there. I've done that before. Bad things happen. Let me see if I can open the door and shoot it. Run! What? Hmm? There's something here. Where? Oh shit! Uh, I think it's time to use a medkit, huh? Maybe two. See ya! I 
I swear the wrench is like almost as powerful as the shotgun. <sighs> oh. Miyu, isn't the person the uh, doctor was talking with before? I don't have any food. Can't be well fed. I can't remember. Was it this way? I don't think it was. Wait, what's this? Not it. Oh, how did I miss you? Hello. Let me see how many I have now. Five. That's gotta be enough for whatever I was saving up for. Speaking of, what was I saving up for? I can get suit modification. Oh right, I was saving up for gunsmith. Yeah, I've got two weapon upgrade kits. So, oh, I can get this thing up two more levels. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna double upgrade it. Because I can just fabricate these upgrade kits now. And they're really not too expensive, so it's worth it. There it is, is that the objective marker? I figured it out. Ah, leverage. I'll find some explosives for that. Whoa, look at that. You can't see from behind. I don't think... No, that's not a rendering error. That's just... The technology, I guess. Yeah, it's kind of... It's 3D. A little bit. I kind of don't like the flashlight in this game. What's going on out there? Uh, but yeah, something about it, it's kind of... Like, it helps you see, sort of, but it's also kind of disorientating for some reason. It's like it's too bright. Okay, what the hell is that? Also, apparently my psychoscope or whatever it is... Identifies them or something? I don't know. Made beepy noises. <laughs> Still don't know what those are, but they don't look good, and it looks like they're in space, so I guess something can attack me in space. It looks like it's marked them as targets. Whatever that means. Oh, there's more. Oh, oh they're getting awfully close. Hopefully they can't bust through the window. Phase one, test phase two. Hmm. Might be a little bit of a puzzle. Bunch of stuff. Diagnose. Yeah, probably gonna have to diagnose it. I wanna finish searching this place though. There's gotta be more goodies to get. Engineering control systems. 
There's a metaphor here, you know? Typically, the objective of control theory is to monitor the output of a system and compare it with the desired output, the reference signal. The difference between the actual and the desired outputs, the error signal, is applied as feedback to the input of the system to bring the actual output closer to the reference. Good control systems and good engineers learn from the past. Custom travel mug. Dr. Cavino, okay, I'll get right on that. Uh, required to fabricate a travel mug that weighs exactly 170 grams. Empty, of course. My feeble hands need a lightweight container for my coffee. Huh. Clive, this is Dr. Calvino. I need you to modify a scale so when it reads 170 grams, it sends an on-off signal. Please let me know when it's ready. Hmm? Okay, this is part of a puzzle or a secret or something like that. So, Dr. Calvino's magical cup, it's probably somewhere around here, can be put on a scale and it activates something. I've had a look at the specs you sent me, I see a few problems. I didn't realize you'd offloaded so much of the processing and storage. What if someone took a wrench to the main server? The whole system goes down? Anyway, come by when you get a chance and we'll go over the details. I have a few suggestions, if you're amenable. Yeah, so travel mug, huh? Hmm. This wouldn't, I mean, these wouldn't be travel mugs, right? And they don't look special. It's got to be special, right? And if it's for traveling, it's got to be one of the, like, thermos kind of things, probably. Hmm. Wouldn't it be funny if it was, like, all the way back at their body? And you, you just had to go, like, get it and bring it back. Actually, you probably couldn't even do that. Because general objects that you can't put in your inventory, like this, I, I can't imagine you could carry it through a level load. Oh. Oh. Hello. Identified. What do you go on? So, a scale of some sort. Where? Hmm. I'll put it there for now. Oh. That looks like a scale. Aha! Aha! Two Neuromods, that was so worth it. Plus, Lorenzo Calvino's cabin. I wonder where their cabin is. Also, secrets. say, I don't know if I've ever tried to do this, what if we look at, what is it, data? Keys. So, yep, yeah, so this one, oh, okay, it doesn't, like, show you it on a map, but it does tell you where it is, roughly. Crew quarters. I don't know if I've been to crew quarters before. I can't remember. Okay, let's try to fix this thing. Whoa, look at that. Peering into another world. Okay, yes, fix. We must fix. Yep, so we gotta diagnose the problem. Um, let's... Diagnose the screens? Pretty sure the screens are fine. Yeah, they're fine. Diagnose the server. So, SR4BN. 715. SR4BN715. SR4BN715. Uh huh? 
Nice work, Morgan. The looking glass screens are online again. Head back to your office as soon as you can. It's important you hear the rest of your message. I'll meet you there. Whoa, they'll meet me? In person? It's running? Light filled capture looks a little hot. Where's the photometer? The handheld. D did you take it? No. Ah, yesterday we had two, now I can't find one. We've only ever had one. Nonsense. I guess you forgot. You're leaving? Uh, I thought we were done. No, just... just turn it off then. I feel like you're upset with me. No, I, uh... I suppose it's it's late after all. Uh, go, go, uh, sleep. What about you? What about me? Yeah, don't concern yourself. I'll finish. Right. I guess I'll see you later then. Yeah, you guess. What? You're always saying, I guess. That worked, I guess. I'll see you later, I guess. You're a scientist. Stop guessing. No! Or be quiet. Yeah, that's all. Good night, Dr. Calvino. Well, I guess if you didn't read the other computer, that would be your big hint on what to do. Okay, gotta get back to my office now. If I could only put this inside and close it, then no one could ever open it again. Oh yeah, trick shot, upside down. All right, back to my office. I get the feeling that now that I'm going back through already charted territory, that there's going to be new enemy spawns. I mean, it's pretty much guaranteed, right? I'm going to try not to sprint so that I've got some time to react if there's any new enemies. Oh, yep. Knew it. And the turret's already been destroyed. So if I was to mark it... Yeah, so that allows you to see it through walls, huh? That's handy. That's very handy. Let's see if I could sneak attack it with my now upgraded shotgun. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oof. Yeah, I think it, in the bottom left it said 150% damage because I was sneaky. 
And remember, I can also get that stealth upgrade that makes it do 200% damage with a sneak attack. So this thing's going to do a lot of damage. Oh, I already broke it. Look at that thing. Looks like a massive ball of bread. A bool, as I think they're called. Do I have hacking too? I don't, right? Oh, I do? Oh. I'd forgot that I'd gotten it. Oh, there's two. Uh oh. I wondered why I had so much time. So I guess hacking three requires you to get to three of them? There's another one of those things around. Oh, it's up here, isn't it? Okay, combat time. Oh. I think that's the director of the lab. Hmm. I have the sense he resented you. Unfortunate. Child's drawing. Or maybe it's their drawing and they're just a really bad artist. Projects. Dr. Th Thorstein, I just wanted to write you personally and thank you for the new reployer. I know some people have been on waiting lists to get one of these, and it was a pleasant surprise to find a new one in my office this morning. It is this feeling of gratitude that makes it awkward for me to trouble you further. However, if you could spare one of your engineers for a bit, it would be great if they could swing by and show me exactly what it does. Wanted to clear a Morgan request again. Morgan was down in hardware today, just standing there as if not sure where to go. And when I offered to help, Morgan asked for more operator parts. I asked if the last ones we'd sent hadn't been sufficient, and I got a blank look. I mean no offense, but Morgan's uh, requisitioned enough to repair any operator in the station five times over now. And we have other operators that need maintenance. Yeah, so Morgan was forgetful, which I... I guess is maybe similar to what was happening with Calvino being forgetful, so I guess maybe they're both undergoing the Neuromod tests? I don't know. Dubbed the Reyes Field of Theory, this discovery proved to be the jumping off point for a string of scientific miracles Transtar began churning out less than a year later. Take for example the now ubiquitous operators, which take advantage of a localized levitation effect derived from the theory's gravitational outworkings. Indeed, from the matter-stripping field interactions inside the bowels of recyclers, to the artificial gravity that keeps boots firmly planted on the Italian marble of the Talos One lobby, the impact of Dr. Reyes' theory is undeniable. bastard come from Ooh, 
What's this? <laughs> Elements, right? If you forget the code, ES and XE. ES. Ah, it's gonna take too long. Can I just hack it? Oh, it's level 3. Okay. Ah, there we go. ES is 99. And XE is 54, so 9954. Whoops. Psy hypos, bullets, and recycler charges. Where does this go? Somewhere I haven't been, apparently. I see materials. I see beautiful cubes. Oh! Oh, we're above this lobby here. I never even thought to go up. Well, I could definitely get across that with the glue cannon. Okay. It's gotta be things in here. Guarantee it. I didn't fall for it. Thaddeus, please keep an eye on Franklin. The man spends far too much time on personal projects and recreational pursuits. We're all human here, I get it, but I'm worried he may try to use the propulsion system to access unauthorized areas. Hey, this is Gus down in Cargo Bay. I found something curious in an outbound container on my shift. I think it's a fabricator plan for an autonomous turret. It was stashed with a bunch of old capacitor cells slated for delivery to the Pythias facility. It might have been an accident, but I don't know. One of the officers put it in a safe in the life support security station. If you want it back, talk to them. That could be handy, but then again, the turrets really do seem incredibly weak against anything but the lowliest mimics. Since I can't fortify them, I don't have the repair skill. New code? Dr. Calvino isn't feeling well enough to present the latest looking glass tech to our visitors, so I'll be away from the labs for an extended period. Left in everything in working order, just in case I'm sending you the key code to my office. 7626. Thorstein. That's the keypad I hacked, isn't it? Why do they have two baseball gloves on them? I don't think you're supposed to dual wield them. Little bastard. Oh. As long as you keep giving them a good whack, they don't seem to be able to attack you. It kind of stuns them. Lunch. Spiralite cookies. Tomato stew. Eel. Whoa. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> someone, someone made a snowman. Freaking snow glue thing. 
Hello, my name is Mr. Gluey McGlueface. Nice. I can't even imagine must uh, how hard that must be to clean up. All this stuff? I mean, God. I can't imagine just soap would get it off. It's probably more involved than that. I've got a bunch of food now. I should probably eat. I just eat it all. Feed this to an engine operator after you memorize. Group workstation's password, McCroll. To whomever gave dear Mick, Mr. M Gluey McGlueface's, the, 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 Mr. Gluey McGlueface arms, aka first shift, I bow to thee. At first I thought the jellied eel hat could not be topped. I stand corrected. Your triumphant creation of baseball glove hands cannot be equaled. Sincerely, the unworthy second shift. It's a reminder that if you need supplies from the machine shop, the supply closet's key code is 1904. Glue adhesion test. Mm. Nothing really interesting here. I think that's it. Ah, okay, so I don't even need to put a bunch of glue across this thing. Upgrade kit. Get another glue cannon. Looks like I stopped healing, so let's eat. Wait, what can I take that? Oh, I just don't have room, I guess. How many slots? No. It just takes one slot. And that's just spare parts. I've got two slots. Hmm. Maybe you're just limited. You can only have a certain amount. I've got like 33. <laughs> that's a lot. Oh, now I'm out of space. Need a recycler. Cooking with cauliflower. Renowned for its versatility and lush aroma, cauliflower can be substituted in many traditional recipes to boost their nutrient payload without compromising on flavor. Faux mashed potatoes, pizza crust, cauliflower fried rice pellets, and more. But if you're looking to maximize the health benefits of this dimple delicacy, then steaming is your best bet. Go for the purple variety if you really want to add a blast of color to your plate. I don't have room for any of this. So much food. I could fit that. Yeah, I, I gotta remember to keep thinking more vertically. Because I can go up and down. I mean, I've got jets, which allows me to glide. I've got the glue cannon. So I've got to keep looking up, see if there's any areas above me that might have stuff. Okay, I think that's it for here. I don't think there were any locked... Like, I found a bunch of passcodes to stuff, but I don't think that was for anything back here. So, let's go. Is this repair too? 
Oh no, I can repair this. Okay, I've got so many spare parts and I'm full on inventory, so I'm gonna do this. Oh. I was expecting like a fancy animation or something. <laughs> Transfer junk. Ah, oh, beautiful. And there's a bunch of other stuff I don't need. I don't need this. Don't need an extra glue cannon. I think that's it. Yeah. Look at all those materials. I feel cheated out of all of the plink sounds. They kind of just stopped playing for a second there. They're the most satisfying part. I'm sure there's new enemies out here. What was over here again? Did I ever go this way? Sales do- oh yeah. Yeah, I remember going in there. Alright, let's take a look at the map and see if I can find the crew quarters? Have I been there before? Hmm, I don't see it, so no, I don't think I've been there yet. Because I've got a bunch of key cards for crew quarters. I'm just going to go back the way I came up, I guess. I don't have to, but let's do it. Oh, right. <laughs> I forgot I have a jet. I could just glide all the way down. Hmm? Something up there. Christ, it sounds like it's all around me. I think it's up here. Oh. There's more up here. Whoa, that, that one's super strong. What? It didn't even transform out of its state. I just killed it as a phone. Alright. So even the mimics are getting stronger. Oh, fuck! Christ. to say next. You have to destroy Talos 1. The research, the Typhon, nothing can survive. Including you. I know how it sounds, but you've seen what those creatures can do. They're a part of you now. If even one cell gets back to Earth, we're lost. I'm sorry. I wish there was another way. January can walk you through activating the self-destruct mechanism. Alex will try to stop you. He's allergic to failure. Too proud to go back to mom and dad with his tail between his legs. So, it's up to you now. Good luck. Told you you wouldn't like it. I don't. But it makes sense. Hi, January. 
Morgan. I'm January 2035. I'm an operator. There are many operators aboard Telos-1, but none of them are like me. I'm your plan B. My first task was to free you from the simulation. Second task was to make sure you saw your video. Those are done. Interesting. New directives are now available to me. The self-destruct protocol for Telos-1 is activated by two arming keys. Your brother has the first. You had the second. Alex destroyed your arming key, but you hid a fabrication plan for a new one in deep storage. That's where you'll need to go next. We can worry about getting Alex's key afterwards. The Typhon are spreading fast, Morgan. You'll be racing against them and your brother. This key card will grant you access to the main lift and all the labs. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to fix the lift from here. There's another route through the psychotronics lab. Morgan, that lab is where the Typhon broke containment. Please be careful. Next topic. You asked me to provide you with more neuromods, which I've done. Good luck, Morgan. Your office is relatively secure. Why did that open? I didn't press anything. Come back if you need to rest or use the fabricator. Every neuromod takes a snapshot of your brain and models what it would look like if you learned something new. Then it makes those changes. Billions of connections remapped in a matter of minutes. All made possible by our friends from outer space. I've got four neuromods now. So, what should I spend those on? Better repair. Don't really care that much about it. Don't care about dismantle. Lab tech. Oh, so that's what you need to upgrade things like the glue cannon more. It's sort of like the gunsmith, but for non-gun guns? Non-shooting weapons? Non-bullet based weapons, I guess? Ah, right, I was saving up for sneak attack. Let's do that. I think the next thing I might get is more inventory space. Yeah. I love inventory space. Right, so we need to go to Psychotronics, which if you remember, that's where Bellamy was apparently taken. Yep, Psychotronics. So, let's go. Ooh. I guess I should just avoid it. Yeah, it's got that, like, super strong sheen to it, just like the new Mimics I've seen, so I'm guessing it is pretty strong. screwed. I'm so screwed. Medpacks! So wait, was that actually two, or was it just, uh, like a, a copy of it? Wow, I've blown through a lot of my shotgun ammo, huh? Christ. <sighs> nice. 
no food. This one? This is the one that needs the override? Wait. So then what is this for? Oh, that door. Oh, so I, yeah, I guess I could have run in here and, and locked it behind me. Hmm. Well, might as well deal with the problem now. I mean, I don't want them just waiting for me outside that door. I'm sure I'm going to have to go, go back out there pretty soon. Can hack you. Why are these X's? So you have to hack it, but why can't you enter normally? I guess because the air. Okay. Uh, oh, I can't fit through there. Ooh. Whoa, wow. Okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't think I'm gonna get it. Oh, fuck. Oh. <laughs> Owie. Try again. Oh, oh, whoa. Fuck. Oh, that was stressful. Upgrade kit and four neuro mods. Oh. That is beautiful. And a note. I love notes. Got two weapon upgrade kits. Do I want to keep upgrading my shotgun? I should probably upgrade something else. Given that I'm already getting low on ammo for it, and I don't think I have shotgun ammo fab plans, do I? I'm pretty sure I don't. Given that, I should probably upgrade the pistol. I really do the pistol. I still hate the pistol so much. Just, its stats disgust me. They're terrible. Ah, alright. Um... Wait, why does this firepower, firepower say it goes from 8 to 8? Are you telling me it does nothing? Is that a joke? Okay. I'll just assume that it does do more damage. Elias, you left your character sheet on the printer. Don't forget we moved the game to the rec center and crew facilities, and it's an hour later than usual. Do us a favor and take a happy pill before showing up. See you there. Turns out Yuri Kimura... Kimura's like everyone else. I'll tell you over lunch. Did I spend my neuro months? No, I didn't. Let's spend that on a suit modification. And let's marvel at our inventory space. That is a thing of beauty. I can't wait to hold every single piece of junk in the known world. So January, December, am I going to have a new AI for every month of the year? Is that an optional quest? 
Yeah. I'm contacted by another operator named December. Like January, it has my voice. However, December's directive is to help me escape. Before... Before I lost my memory, I hid the key to Alex's private escape pod in the debriefing room of the Neuromod Division. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm seeing two different things. One is to blow everything up, including myself, and another is to escape. My hunch would be that December is... The bad one, I guess. Alex is doing, perhaps? Don't know. Oh. <laughs> ah. I've had enough of getting shocked in my life. Nah, I can't repair it. Well, let's be sort of fast, I guess. I don't have any reason to recycle junk. Oh yeah, this is the other side of this. I was never able to go inside of... Please don't shock me. Anything else? Is that it? Guess that's it. Oh. I just realized something. There was a place that I needed leverage to get inside of, and I was going to use an explosive on it, and I think it was back in Galvino's hardware lab. I totally forgot about it. Ah, oh well. It's pretty far away. I don't really want to go back unless I'm in the area. Coming up. Yep. We have three recycler charges. I could use that against it, but they're not that hard. I think I'd rather wait for something even harder. Could try out the pistol. Let's try out the pistol. Remember, I get the 200% sneak damage, and it is silenced. Whoa, no. Ah, ha, 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 oh, I have three hit points left. Maybe let's not do that. That didn't work too good. I think it's the teleport that gets me the most. Like, I was expecting to just, like, get a bunch of silenced, you know, sneak shots on it, but no. <laughs> it did, like, nothing. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, maybe I could distract it and make it go back down the stairs with this. Oh, fuck. Oh. oh, I'm about to die. Alright, trying my options here. Let's try getting it closer to the explosive. Oh. Does it see me? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> see ya! Oh, did it actually- Oh, it actually died from the vault, didn't it? I didn't think it would. Huh. That's not bad. Yeah, let me diagnose what happened. I think that this thing is has solid collision. This thing here, I don't think I can shoot through it. No, I can. I wonder what the issue was, because it like looked up directly at me. Yeah, see, the shot did somehow bounce off of something. Odd. And yeah, the wrench is now no longer at all acceptable to kill those things. It just does way too little damage. I 
And I do still have the Typhon lures. I'm just not super sure how to make use of that, other than for explosives. What else could I use them for? I mean, distraction, I suppose, but I'd rather just kill them. Because I know I'm going to have to go through areas probably many times. Backtracking and opening up new areas. So I don't want to just leave them, because then I'll eventually just have to kill them. Psychotronics. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to go to Psychotronics, which is apparently where the outbreak started, so it's probably going to be extraordinarily dangerous. And uh, hopefully in there I'll also find Bellamy's body. <laughs>